So we're ready to start grouting. Yes. Now I'm going to show you now how to mix, and we're going to do it by hand. Uh, you can use the power mixer, just like before, uh, but I want to show you by hand, so in case you don't have it. Um, I didn't show you how when we did the mortar, but this will be the same idea as with the grout. And since we don't use like half, not even near as much grout as we do the mortar, it's a whole lot easier to do by hand. And you mix it a lot soupier, so it's even easier. So I'm going to use my grout float. Now there's so many different kinds of grout floats out there, and this one here is a is a higher end, and it's it's called I believe an epoxy float. The guys on the field that I, I would talk to a lot, they love these things. They're they're so much harder than the ones that uh, you see in the stores. They've got sponge in there and stuff. And I myself, after using this, I I'd use those other kinds. After using this, I won't go back. I really like the hard rubber on it, and it just works so much better, I find, to put your put your grout down. So we're going to mix some grout now. And now remember, when you mix grout, you mix very um, soupy, but you the amount of water it takes to mix the grout is a whole lot less than the mortar. It's kind of a weird thing, and it, it can throw you off really quick. So we'll put in just a little bit of water. Grout here. This uh, Mapai makes these ultra color grout, and I, I find they have so many different uh, colors to use. I really like like their stuff. It's some really really good stuff. Now you'll see that it says um, sanded grout. We need sanded for the floor, unless you're using uh, unless you're doing marble or uh, granite tile. You want to use sanded. It's very important. That's for the thicker grout lines. So you'll put grout in. You want to start small as always. And then you mix. Now it, it mixes really weird too. Unlike the mortar, the mortar just seems to pick up the, the water and just go with it, but they almost seem to react against each other. And you really have to to work it in. Now you'll see that I don't have near enough grout and too much water, just like I was talking about. It can happen really quick and you'll end up using a whole lot of grout before you even know it, so be very careful with how much water you put in at first. You can always add more later. So it's quite a process with the hand. I, I don't enjoy mixing with my hand anymore, for obvious reasons. So I'm going to add more grout. It's definitely too soupy. Now when you uh, pick a grout color, we didn't talk about this, make sure it accents your tile well. You don't want to pick a, just to be extreme, a green grout with say a white tile. It just it would look too weird. So you really want to make sure the two um, accent each other. And I do recommend you don't use a light grout for a floor. What always ends up happening is they end up staining because when you walk on something continuously, no matter how many times you seal it, it'll end up staining a, a darker color than you want and it, it just tends to look a lot dirtier. So I would always, always, always choose a darker floor grout. Here we go again. We'll keep mixing. Now, I don't, want to keep, I don't want to bore you with this, so I am just going to finish this up. But that's the idea. So you can see it's starting to turn into something now. Turn to actually turn into some form of mud. So when I come back, I'll have it all set and ready to go, and then you'll see the consistency. So remember when you're mixing the grout, to mix it just the same as you would the mortar. Different consistency, but the same idea. You mix for 5 to 10. Usually you want to mix for 10 and then you let sit for 5 to 10. Then you come back and you want to mix it for another 2. This allows the water to seep into the grout just like it does with the mortar and very important that it has that sitting time before you use it. Now that we have the consistency we want, it is, I didn't really explain to you what I wanted in the end, but I want a soupy, like a cream soup type of consistency. You see that it moves pretty good, um, it definitely doesn't just slop out, so that's, it is wetter than mortar as you can see, for sure wetter than mortar, but not, um, not sloppy, it's not water by any means. 
Now, to make things a little easier for your numbers, if you want to mix two cups of grout with one cup of water, that's a good way to start to get your, well, how much approximately do I put in? Just start with that. Two cups of grout, one cup of water.